Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. Our topic for today is the syllabus of the course subject. Course title, Database Administration, Course Code, COM20-13. And here we have the course description. This course discusses basic concepts on database administration. It explores the features of technology-specific database packages, such as IBM DB2 UDB, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, and Oracle, among others. It includes discussion on installation, creation, and configuration of databases, configure security and transfer data between sources or servers, backing up and restoring databases, databases concurrency, and optimizing database performance. Next is the ELO or Institutional Intended Learning Outcome. Below, we have creative and critical thinking, adeptness in the responsible use of technology, community engagement, high level of leadership and organizational skills, strong service orientation, effective communication, sense of nationalism and global responsiveness, sense of personal and professional ethics, passion to lifelong learning. Next is the Program Intended Learning Outcomes or PILO. So we have here Apply Knowledge of Computing, Science, and Mathematics appropriate to the discipline. Analyze complex problems and identify and define the computing requirements appropriate to its solution. Identify and analyze user needs and take them into account in the selection, creation, evaluation, and administration of computer-based system. Continuation, the design, implement, and evaluation of computer-based system processes, components, or programs to meet desired needs and requirements under various constraints. Integrate IT-based solution into the user environment effectively. Assist in the creation of an effective IT project plan. Apply knowledge through the use of current techniques, skills, tools, and practices necessary for the IT profession. Another slide for the continuation, understand best practices and standard and their applications. Function effectively as a member or leader of a development team, recognizing the different roles within a team to accomplish a common goal. Communicate effectively with the competing community and with society at large about complex computing activities through logical writing presentations and clear instructions. Next is analyze the local and global impact of computing information technology on individuals, organizations, and society. Understand professional ethical, legal, security, and social issues, and responsibilities in the utilization of information technology. Recognize the needs for an engage in planning self-learning and improving performance as a foundation for continuing professional development. Next, we have here the CELO, or the Course Intended Learning Outcomes. This uh, part discusses on the subject. So the concept of data and data administration explain the role of database administrator in the management of databases pertaining to the security, availability, quality of databases. Identify specific SQL clauses that should be used in code development to be able to generate the required outputs. Evaluate existing database management platforms which will suit the current and future needs of an organization. Next is to implement a robust application using a specific DBMS which has been tested against the requirements of a particular business. 
apply test scenarios to make sure application work as expected ensure seamless implementation of DBMS programs or application for the business or organization and identify all specific activities in each phase of a project plan from the planning to the implementation incorporated into the plan the schedule of resources such as time budget and people who should make up the project team next is design an application code in the most efficient manner using a particular database management system apply the features of DPMS backup file transfer security protocol etc to maximize the to maximize the benefits for application being developed within the end users in mind. Create optional running programs and system using SQL and specific database management system through efficient coding schemes and effective table design. Now we have here the course plan and the topic we are going to render. First is fundamentals. Under this, we have introduction, faculty and students, discussion of course syllabus including grading system and general rules, which is this is all about classroom management. Number two, introduction to database administration, data administration, DBA role, data security, data availability, and data quality. Number three, review of basic SQL on single tables, structure of the basic SQL statement, column, and scalar function, group by heading clauses. Number four, basic SQL on multiple tables, use of where clause as joint predicate. Number five, review of integrity constraints, creating and managing databases, creating and managing tables. Number six, data manipulation language, insert, delete, update. Number seven, advanced SQL. Number eight, other clauses for processing multiple tables, inner, outer join, union, intersect. Then we're going to have exam review of all the topics to, that is being discussed. Then we go to our midterm exam. Next on the final exam, we have, uh, sorry, the final topic we have. Number 10, sub-query, 11, creating views, 12, creating stored procedures, 13, creating triggers, 14, importing and exporting data from into Excel text files, data transfer between tables. 15, database backup, on-site, off-site backup, planning and designing backup procedure, backup implementation. 16 database security, database concurrency, and 17 project presentation, exam review of all discussion, covers midterm period, and that we can get the final exam. Now in course assessment and evaluation criteria, grading and requirements, so the students need to pass assignment, pass the quizzes, and even hands-on and activities. Major requirements, uh, midterm and or final exam, database project for small medium businesses. Grading system, first grading, we have class online class standing, 70%. It goes to the quizzes, long test, uh, no reservation, research work, assignment, exercises, project projects, and we have the midterm examination. Again, there should be no recitation. Second grading class standing, quizzes, long tests, then research work, assignment, exercises, projects, then the final examination. We're going to replace recitation with case studies. Then we have the final grade is equal to first grading added by second grading divided by two. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture zero. Thank you and good luck.